Good morning, Greater Lake Show. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm Zoe Favada alongside Brianna Vesely. Coming up in today's show, there is a new sports mental health group starting. Tomorrow is the deadline for donations to the Saint Thanksgiving Basket Service Project, and our sports reporters share the latest scores and schedules. All this and more on your WCA TTV News. A sports mental health group will be held on Wednesday, November 15th during GL Time Block B. The Journal of Health Psychology Research shows that stress experienced by high school athletes has steadily increased in the past 10 to 15 years. This group will focus on promoting healthy coping skills to combat this stress. The sports mental health group will be led by senior Cody Weaver and will be held in room C208. You can register to participate in this group by emailing Cody Weaver at 24weavecody at glsc.us or Mrs. Yetter at jessica.yetter at glsc.us. You can also register through FlexTime Manager at hashtag sportsmentalhealth. We look forward to seeing you there. Tomorrow is the final day to bring in your non-perishable food items for the Thanksgiving Basket Service Project. Each homeroom teacher has received a list of items needed to supply a Greater Lake Trope family in need with a Thanksgiving meal. Please take this opportunity to help those around you. For less than $2, you can help give a local family a special meal. The baskets will be assembled tomorrow afternoon, so please turn in your items by tomorrow. Thank you for your generosity. Each year, nearly 40 families have been able to receive food baskets for both Thanksgiving and Christmas through this project. There will be a Global Scholars Active Planning Meeting on Monday, November 20th in the Junior High, Room B202. Please sign up and flex during both Blocks A and B. You can come for half or the whole hour. Planning a community movie night along with a range of planning for activities in winter and spring will take place. Come get involved and earn your service hours and check your portfolio progress with Ms. Selexi. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Coco Toscano for your three-day forecast. What's up, Wildcats? Today there's a high of 53 and a low of 32 with sunny skies. Wednesday there will be a high of 57 and a low of 32 with partially cloudy skies. And Thursday there will be a high of 60 with a low of 36 also with cloudy skies. That's your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Coco. Reporter Jess Simonovich got the opportunity to talk with Jack, Dr. Benning and one of the members of the newly established Greater Lake Trobe eSports team. The Greater Lake Trove eSports team is a new initiative at our school that will open up new opportunities for students. The eSports team is a new type of extracurricular that will have students training with video games, hopefully leading to the students participating in competitions at some point during the school year. We're looking to expand our career and future readiness options, and as crazy as that sounds from an eSports standpoint, not only is it fun, it was a student request at the start of the year when we asked how can we increase opportunities for students potentially doing GL time, in association with the academics, arts, and, and athletics fitness. But there are a lot of opportunities for esports and in association with those who participate in esports from a career future readiness standpoint, many of which um, students may or, not, may or may not realize that uh, can certainly be options down the road. An important topic when it comes to extracurriculars is how it will affect your schedule with practices and, and competitions after and during school projecting a combination of perhaps during the school day as possible and then after school for competitions once we can get that established. But it should be a nice opportunity and a combination based on our cohorts as to when they're available and when we can have competitions and or practice and make it a fun, valuable time opportunity overall. With over 30 students signed up within the first two weeks of the announcement of the program, there's a definite intrigue for this team. I wanted to join the eSports team because, um, well one, I just enjoyed, I enjoy playing video games and two, I thought that this would be a fun way to do what I like while also supporting the school. The popularity of eSports has only grown as the internet becomes a larger and larger part of everyday life, which means this team could have great potential if supported properly. I think that if enough people show continued support towards the program and the school notices that and recognizes that, um, this has potential to become even as popular as something like football. Opportunities with the Greater Lake Trobe eSports team will only continue to grow and get bigger as the year continues. So if you're interested in joining, see Dr. Benning. Reporting for WCA-TTV, I'm Jess Semenovich. Thanks, Jess. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Dalton King with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Lake Trobe? Today is Tuesday, November 14th, and the daily special is garlic toasted meatball hoagie with french fries and broccoli. 
Tomorrow's special is a sausage, egg, and cheese waffle sandwich with crunchy hash browns. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Dalton. We go to Gabby Cunningham for an update on our Wildcat sports teams. Good morning, Wildcats. Looking to this past weekend, on Friday, the football team fell to Aliquippa 37-29 in the second round of the playoffs. There are no sporting events tonight. That's all for local sports. Now here's Luke Bullabosh with National Sports. Thanks, Gabby. Good morning, Wildcats. Over the weekend in college football, both Pitt and Penn State took losses, Pitt losing to Syracuse 28-13 and Penn State losing to Michigan 24-15. In the NFL, the Steelers hosted the Packers on Sunday and won 23-19. Yesterday, the Broncos stole a win from the Bills 24-22. In the NBA, the 76ers beat the Pacers on Sunday and won an in-season tournament game against the Pistons. The Sixers play another in-season tournament game today against the Pacers at 7. In college basketball, Pitt took home two wins against Binghampton and FGCU, already giving them more wins than their football team through three games. Penn State also took a victory against Lay and played St. Francis PA tonight at 7. In women's basketball, Pitt beat West Virginia on Saturday and Penn, St Penn State beat both Navy and Kansas. In the NHL, the Penguins beat the Sabres 4-0 on Saturday and played the Blue Jackets tonight at 7. That's all for National Sports. Thanks and back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this, this, this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Lake Go Wildcats!